when we started the project, it was apparent to me that there was a very strong differentiation between Chicago medicine and uh, most of the other places where we were. But Chicago, you know, follows its own tradition of being fundamentally about excellence. The master plan called for a completely different scheme. It was a vertical building situated in one of the ends of the site. And um, I dared to suggest that uh, the project had to be turned on its side and bridge the street. And I think that one of the greatest things about the campus and its organization around the, the quad uh, allows for a number of real interaction between different disciplines. I mean, people do walk in, in, on campus and, and a little bit of that is what we try to bring into the structure of the building. So by, by shifting the position of the building, I mean, several things happen. We, um, we naturally connect now to the Children's Hospital and to the uh, Center for Advanced Medicine. So the, the volume of the building is treated into two different layers. One is all the technical stuff and the upper levels are the nursing units. And in between there is this place, which is the Sky Lobby Garden. So the notion of the Sky Lobby is that you you come into the main entrance and take these shuttle elevators to the main reception, waiting areas, uh, here's where um, the community of the hospital, but also the patients and how the patients perceive the level of care that they uh, are going to be delivered. Uh, here's where the food is located, uh, where the chapel is, all the social and and more uh, sort of interactive spaces between the faculty and the patient's families. I have been over the last uh, probably 15 years or so um, working here. It's beyond a pleasure. And that cam comes from this sort of fundamental sense of inquiry and, and excellence. Uh, but it isn't about anything other than how do we make uh, people, uh, both in the hospital, but as well as in many other uh, areas and disciplines of the university, the best we can.